Hey, what's up you guys? Installing a trailer hitch on your Mazda CX-9 can take you to some really cool places like camping, biking, or even towing a U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tool seen here to complete this installation. So our first step is to remove this underbody panel located on the center of our vehicle. It's held in by four push pins. There's one here, 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 and here. We're gonna remove those using a flathead screwdriver. So when you pull down, there's some tabs inside that are holding it into place. You'll just wanna take your finger from behind and you'll push it up and just push on that tab and then we can pull it out. And this will not be reinstalled. So with our underbody panel removed, we can now gain better access to our brackets. It's held in by one push pin and there's one screw up here that our panel was partially blocking and it's identical on the second bracket over here. And we'll use a 10 millimeter socket to remove this bolt. And then this will just pull down and we'll repeat on the other one. Now a lot of times dirt can get in these so it might be helpful to use a trim panel tool. Next we need to lower our exhaust to get room to put our hitch into place. Now our exhaust is held in by four rubber hangers. There's two on the driver's side, one here and here, and there's two on the passenger side in the identical spaces. Now before we remove those, we're gonna take a strap and we're just gonna support it down over here by this cross member so when we remove those hangers, our exhaust won't fall. To remove it, we're gonna spray it with some soapy water. You could also use some other lubricant like WD-40. And then we're gonna use some exhaust removal pliers. This will help just pry it right off. If you don't have it, you can just use a pry bar. And we'll repeat on the other three. So now we're ready to bring our hardware into place. We're gonna start on the driver's side. We have two attachment points on the driver's side. We have a carriage bolt and block for each attachment. And to bring into place, we're gonna to have to use a fish wire technique. Let's go ahead and show you how that's done. So on our driver's side frame, we'll be using these two holes as our attachment points. Now, as you can see, there's some residue that's blocking part of the hole. We're just gonna take a knife and cut that off. So for our fish wire technique, we're gonna take the coiled end of our wire, and we're gonna put it through this furthest hole right here, and we're gonna push it towards our access hole. And then we'll pull it through our access hole right here. Then we're gonna take our carriage bolt and block, and we're going to attach it to the coiled end. It's just gonna screw right on. Then we're gonna push our carriage block through into the frame, followed by our bolt. And then we're gonna pull it all the way through. Now to bring our bolt into this hole, we're gonna use a reverse fish wire technique. To that, we're going to attach our carriage bolt and block onto our coiled end of our fish wire first. Then we're gonna push our bolt in, followed by the block, and then we're gonna pull it right back down. And then we're gonna repeat this whole process on the passenger side. So now we're going to bring our hitch into place. We're going to use our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack to hold it for us. Now if you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you get an extra set of hands as this hitch is pretty heavy. Now we're just going to line it up with those fish wires 
and then we're gonna pull all the fish wires through its corresponding hole. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove all of our fish wires. And then we're going to install our provided conical tooth washer with the teeth facing up and our nut. And we'll repeat on the other three. Now we're going to tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer specification. Now if you need those specs, you can find it in the description below. But to do so, we're going to be using a three-quarter socket on all of our nuts. Now all we have to do is reinstall our exhaust. We're gonna spray it with some soapy water to help ease the installation of those hangers. And then we'll remove the strap. With our hitch installed, we pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is a two inch receiver from the pinhole to the end of the bumpers three and a half inches and from the ground to the top of the receiver is 14 and a half inches. This will help you determine the length, rise and drop for your hitch accessories such as a bike rack and cargo carrier. So that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.